our final interview leading up to the Irish Wolfhounds debut game June 17th against NYPD's New York Finest Baseball Club. I'm Sam Davis, joined now by pitcher Mike McGee. Mike, uh, thanks for being with me today. No, thanks for having me, Sam. I'm really excited. So, Mike, you you played in, in 2019 and 2021 for, for Ireland. Your grandparents are from the country. What does it mean for you personally to play for Ireland once again here with the Wolfhounds? So it was one of those things when I started with Ireland baseball, um, I always had growing up a, you know, affinity towards the Irish culture. Uh, I'm from Philadelphia, huge Irish Catholic community. Um, unfortunately, I did not um, spend a lot of time with my grandparents. Do They passed away at an early age for me. So majority of the Irish culture came from my parents, which luckily they they were well endowed with that. Um, so having that kind of Irish background, I had nicknames growing up in Little League, like Irish Mike McGee and all that. I always felt connected to the culture and always wanted to go, just didn't have the opportunity to get out there to the country up until I got, I reached out, um, with Jesse Guffey actually hooked me up with team Ireland back in 2018 when I got released from the reds, uh, with another opportunity to play. So I decided, Hey, listen, I'll give it one more shot. Um, I'll have fun playing. And, and at this point, maybe I can kind of learn a little bit more about myself throughout my playing career, having a different perspective outside the professional game. And at once uh, I took put on the jersey, it was like something, something hit me when we we're in Bulgaria. Uh, it just kind of got a new level of appreciation for, you know, my culture, my family, um, my entire past, right? Um, so it's something really special to me. And it means a lot putting it back on after a few years. Uh, I'm just really happy to support Ireland any way I can. And you brought up uh, the Cincinnati Reds. You played four years at the University of Buffalo, signed with the Reds, um, you know, played some independent league baseball as well. What were your takeaways from your time at Buffalo and kind of how do you use that to help your future career um, at the professional level and still playing to this day? Uh, that's a good question. I, I used a lot of, honestly, preparation, failure, all those buzzwords you hear in baseball. Um, luckily, our program at University of Buffalo, uh, we had a lot of guys get drafted, signed. Uh, so we had a high caliber players in the program as well as really good coaching to prepare us for multiple situations, whether that's on the field, in training, whatever that may be. Um, and I think just being a sponge around some of the older guys when I was a freshman, I had the opportunity to, to start as a freshman and maybe I was ready, maybe I wasn't, but it was a really, it was a good time for me to, to learn how to pitch, how to fail, how to come back, how to switch my training. Um, it prepared me a lot in terms of when I got to the professional level where every guy is the best guy. <laughs> You're in a pool of guys that all through 95 all can command three or four pitches. Um, it kind of puts you in perspective that you always need to have a growth mindset and that um, there's never a chance not to grow. What was that adjustment period? Like you kind of mentioned how, like you said, everybody throwing 95, everybody locating really well. First of all, from high school to college, what was that like? And then from college to the next level, what was that kind of adjustment period like for you and, and getting that time to, to kind of settle into a different type of baseball as you grow older in your career? Yeah, actually, I have a relatively, I would say it's a unique background with baseball. I, uh, I didn't start pitching until primarily like my junior year in high school. I was a quarterback. Uh, my main goal throughout high school was to play college football. Um, turned out that I got on the mound and threw pretty hard. So <laughs> kind of the path was a little bit easier or forged for me on that way. Um, but in high school, I only threw a fastball primarily. So I kind of got by being in a, in a, in a league where I could get by with just throwing a fastball. Um, and there was growing pains my first year of college coming in with not a second or third offering. So I really had to come down and understand like, how can I develop these pitches? Because 90, 95, whatever I was throwing at the time wasn't, I couldn't do that by itself. Um, so flash forward, I actually had a great opportunity. I had a, a good pitching coach, a lot of good teammates to help me in that transition process to learn more pitches. And then getting to the professional level, 
um, before I got, before I signed, I actually had Tommy John. So I was out of baseball for 18 months, no competition. And the first, the first batter I saw was in spring training, uh, whether I think it was against the Royals. Um, so I kind of got thrown into the fire really quick and it was, I was trying to fall back upon my training and how I prepared these bullpens, how I prepared myself to handle some of the stresses in the games. Um, it came back to the biggest transition for me was changing the way I train and changing the way I practice, changing the way I view the mundane pitching activities, such as catch play, warming up, uh, recovery, all that stuff. I really, when I had Tommy John and I was on the recovery process, I really dialed that in. That's including nutrition and sleep. Obviously I tried to strengthen my foundational pillars of my development, uh, to give myself the best opportunity to succeed at the next level. And how important is it for you personally to grow the sport of baseball in Ireland? Obviously over there, the biggest sport, and there's a lot of sports. Um, baseball is not usually at the top of that list, uh, in Europe as a whole, and especially in Ireland. So what are the, some of the ways that you can see uh, the game of baseball growing in, in, in a country like Ireland? I think honestly, just continuing to expose the youth, uh, to the game of baseball, I think uh, I've had discussions about this regarding European uh, baseball. Um, I'm kind of drawing back, talking to some guys from Ireland, some guys that play in other countries, um, understanding, okay, how did, how did basketball become such a big sport over in Europe? Um, I think it kind of started with Michael Jordan in that, that 1992 dream team kind of exposing the world to how well these athletes are and how cool the sport is. And I think the world baseball classic uh, provides that platform for each, any country, whether that's Italy, Netherlands, and Europe, Israel um, to give youth to excitement about the sport. And I think that's step one is creating the excitement and the, the all moment where these kids in Ireland are saying, Hey, I want to be like that guy. That guy was from Ireland. He plays baseball. I watched Ireland in the world baseball classic it kind of can drive that adaptation to create more youth programs. And then that carries on to the high school level and then so on. And hopefully sooner than later, it becomes one of the bigger sports over the over Ireland. Now we talked about it before we started the interview. How's the arm feeling? What are kind of the expectations leading up uh, to this game on the 17th? Have you been training much and uh, how have you been getting ready for it? Yeah. So uh, luckily for me, I, I actually run my own company. That's a, training development company, primarily working with baseball players. So I have access to catchers, uh, throwing partners, et cetera. So I've been getting my arm slowly ready. I'm a, I'm north of the age I want to be right now. I'm not a young, young guy anymore. So it takes <laughs> me a little bit longer to get ready, but expectations are get the ball and hopefully get some outs. That's all I can guarantee. <laughs> I'll try my best to get outs. June 17th, the Irish Wolfhounds are making their debut. If you can't make it to the game at Clover Stadium in New York, check out our live stream. More information on the Irish American Baseball Society social media. Mike, uh, thanks for being with me today, and good luck. No, thank you, Sam.